So I have a fresh version of WordPress set up in a localhost MAMP environment. And what I'd like to do next is install the theme. And that's going to be the underscores theme. And I'd like to use this uh, for web development and pretty much any new theme that I'm going to be creating uh, for WordPress. To get there, you're going to want to go to underscores.me. And you'll see here uh, a field for a theme name. And then if you put anything there and click generate, you'll get a theme. Just keep in mind if your theme is named the same as something that already exists in the WordPress uh, in the WordPress theme environment, uh, there can be some issues with updates. I'm just going to name mine Easy Dev Tweets and have the slug the same. EasyDevToots.com for the theme you right. And for the description, I'll put a theme for learning WordPress development. And I also want to sassify this as well. And what that means is it's going to include uh, SAS folders for your theme. And I'll click Generate. And what that Generate button does is it should download a uh, full directory of the theme. So what I'll need to do is copy that over into my themes folder. And I'll do finder. You can see here I have my themes folder open already. I'll show you how to get there. If you're not familiar with WordPress, you're going to want to go to the root of your WordPress folder. Click on WP content themes. And this is where all your themes are stored. I'm going to copy my easy dev Tuts folder over into the themes. You see here I've got all of my uh, PHP files as well as the SAS folder that includes all of the components that you find in a typical WordPress site. Next thing I'll do is go over to my dashboard. Actually, I should have clicked themes. Go to appearance themes. I'm going to activate the theme. When I visit my site, I no longer have the pretty 2017 theme. I now have a bare uh, underscores theme. 